Hello everyone and welcome to a Pokemon card unboxing that I hope is going to go well because I had to pay a premium for this product. <sighs> I was able to get my hands on one of the display cases of these mini tins for the Pokemon 151 set. I was not pleased about it, but I missed the pre-order. Life has been crazy lately, okay? I have not been able to do pre-orders as well as I have in the past for Pokemon cards, especially a set like this where it just, boom, sold out so quickly everywhere. And I was hoping I would just be able to find these in stores, but I have not seen the mini tins in store yet, except at a lo couple local game card shops, but they were wanting like 12 to 14 bucks per mini tin. And I was like, I just, I can't. I know those are worth like eight or nine dollars. I just can't, I can't. And then time kept passing and I kept hoping they would restock online and they just haven't. So I had to, I went on TCG Player, I found it for like 50 bucks more than I would have liked to have paid for this. But I love these mini tins and I think this is such a cool display piece to have the actual box of it. And I just, I need, I wanted to open these up. So I am really, really hoping that we've got something good inside. Charizard, maybe, are you in here? Blastoise, I do need both of those. Oh, this kills me to open this up. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like, listen, don't get me wrong. I would have enjoyed supporting a local game shop by buying a full case of these, but the couple that I saw, they had only like a handful of the tins left in each display case. And I didn't want to like buy those and then hope that I could find the other artworks elsewhere like I just didn't want to take that gamble I just wanted to be able to buy the case and know that I had them all here so ah, lifting up the top we're gonna get this all nice and displayed she looks so good ah, I'm gonna love having this out even after I've opened up the tins I like I said I just love having these for display so um, yeah basically these are for the 151 set like I said, they all have the different artworks on there. And you know, you're supposed to put the artworks together to make a bigger artwork. I don't really care about that. I would care more if the cardboard artworks inside actually fit in a binder sleeve, but they don't. So like, I just never know what to do with them. But either way, I am so excited. These should have two packs of 151 in them. And then the art card so the cardboard card and then i think uh you know a coin that's what's been rattling around and i didn't know this because i had been trying to keep the set blind and everything but since i've done a couple openings for this set i've been able to go back and watch other poketubers videos on these and the coin inside actually correlates with the pokemon on the outside so like from a champ and cubone we've got the fighting slash ground energy coin how cool what is that? Like I said, I had no idea that that was going to be a thing. Usually they just throw the same coin in each one of these. So I think that's really cool. That's a nice touch. And like I said, these are the artwork cards, if you will. And then on the back, you can see where it fits into the full artwork on top there. And then it gives you a little info about one of the Pokemon on the top. So for this one, it's Machamp. And like I said, you get your coin in here and your two packs of 151. So we are going to battle it out. We're going to see which one of these had the best pulls. I am hoping I can get some good pulls out of these. I feel like with mini tins, nope, I'm not going to jinx myself. We'll see how I do. I'm going to open all of these up and then, well, I'm going to open the tins up and then we can open up the packs together. So I'm going to be starting off with the Psychic Energy one, which once I started opening these, it kind of dawned on me that I think the Machamp and Cubone are the only ones that work where both the Pokemon have the right energy. This one obviously Hitmonlee is not a psychic type. <laughs> but you know, the coin does match one of the Pokemon's typing, so Kadabra. So happy Kadabra got to be featured. And yeah, here are the packs. As always, I am very excited. There are lots of cards that I still need from this set, so definitely hunting for those. Oh, wait, 151, does this one have a card trick? I'm gonna say no. So, Lots of cards that I still need, including, I'm pretty sure, still some commons and uncommons. I haven't opened up a ton of this set, just a, you know, basic small amount of products. Uh, but we are gonna see what we can get. Hopefully something good. We've got a Primeape for a reverse. We have got 
a neat arena for a reverse and behind it all right i have not pulled this one yet truth be told blastoise is my least favorite out of the three canto starters but like I said i haven't pulled this one yet so i am very happy to add that to the collection and then we've just got a basic energy behind it code card so we are starting with a hit hopefully i can pull the venusaur ex as well i've somehow pulled the charizard not the alt arts but we are gonna try we also have the chance at a god pack you know I I don't know what I would do I, I really don't I think it would be pretty unpleasant because I'm pretty sure it would involve some kind of something happening in my pants but don't be gross although I guess it is kind of gross I, I need to stop while I'm ahead okay so we've got a reverse Porygon we have got a reverse Tangela oh it's just a hollow oh it's Raichu! I swear, the hollow energy, not the hollow energy, the hollow cards, they really can, depending on how they hit the light, look like they're gonna be a full art or something special. But Raichu is something special. I love Raichu, one of my favorite Pokemon. So, very good. One tin was a hit, kind of. I mean, one out of two. Uh, next, we are gonna go into the Lightning, which, oh, it worked for this one too. So, the Magnemite and Electabuzz on this one. So, that's nice, but what's the most nice is the pack I just god I wish this set wasn't so popular so that it was more accessible and everything I really would love to get a master set of this set like of any of the sets this is one of them alongside of like evolutions that I almost have a full set of you know those Charizard cards I don't know that I'll ever buy them, <laughs> but either way, we have an adorable Chansey for a reverse. We have got a Mankey the Monkey for a reverse, and started off with a Ditto. I mean, let's see. Okay, no sparkly energy behind it. However, I love this Ditto. I think I've pulled it once. I just think it is such a cute card. <laughs> like, just hanging out in the car. I just... It's so cute. How can you not love that card? I don't know. I don't know. If you told me that you didn't like that card, I wouldn't get it. But like, it's your prerogative. You are allowed to like and dislike what you do. <sighs> okay. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited to open up more of this set and hopefully start filling out my binder. You know, little by little, it's coming along. Like I said, I've only done a couple videos for this set. It's not like there's a million products out there for this set. I think I see something behind here peeking out. We have got a Hypno for a reverse. We've got a Tauros for a reverse. And then a Kangaskhan EX. I do think I have pulled that one. I'm not positive, but I do think so. I always love that the little baby is copy copying mama. So cute. But like I said, there are other EXs that I still need to pull. Water tin, are you gonna do it for me? I mean, I sure hope so. It'd be nice. So, slow poke, water Pokemon, Sandshrew, not water. But that's okay. Let's just see what we've got in our two packs. Let's see if we can get a tin that has a hit in both packs, since that has not happened yet. And let's see, as I said, if we can somehow pull a god pack. You know, it wouldn't be the same as a traditional Japanese god pack, where it has, right, aren't those ones nothing but ultra rares for every single card? With these, one, if you, these ones, if you get a god pack, it's just the reverse slot. Both of those will contain an illustration rare, and then the rare slot will have the alternate art. So this is not a god pack, but we've got a reverse Staryu, we have got a reverse Machoke. Okay. <laughs> Still a double banger. I don't know. Ooh, look at I got multiple swirls. I don't remember off the top of my head if I have the metal hollow energy yet. Triple swirl! Oh. Uh, I don't I might not have this one, to be completely honest. I don't remember which ones I still need. I think I might have still needed the grass. I think there was only a few that I still needed, but this might be one of them. Certainly didn't need that Kangaskhan again, but I'll take I'll take a hollow energy. I love those hollow, hollow energies. They are so pretty, and I'm happy they're not like 
terribly difficult to pull anyways, it doesn't seem. At least I haven't had too much trouble pulling them. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's keep on keeping on. See what we can get out of this next pack. Can I get an EX that I don't already have? Can I get something from the illustration gallery? Or, you know, the alt art gallery? Uh, Venomoth. I don't recognize that one. So, cool. Reverse. We've also got a Growlithe. Cutie Patootie Reverse. And then, uh, Dragonite. So, stinking cute. And I actually don't know. Maybe I've pulled this once, but maybe I haven't. It's so cute. Oh, love that. My fire coin definitely had some sadness on it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not a coin collector. I mean, I technically am because I do keep them. But, uh, yeah. So, we've got Arcanine. We also, on the tins with the corresponding energy, so the fire one, you can see Charmander's little tail sticking out there in the artwork. And then it's the same. In the grass one, you can see a little bit of Bulbasaur. And then in the water one, you can see a little bit of Squirtle. So, I think that's a really cute touch. I don't know why they're hiding, but I think it's cute. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep seeing if we can pull anything new. How, didn't I start off with a star you in the last pack? Something like that? Uh, Charmander, how are you guys doing with this set? Have you been able to open up much of it at all? Ooh, we got a Charmander and Charmeleon. Are we gonna finish the evolutionary line? One can dream. We have a reverse star you. We have a reverse rare Aerodactyl. Yes, I do not have this one yet, so I will take it! I mean, I know it's like not one of the better ones to pull, but I don't care. I'm trying to fill out my binder, so I am so happy about this, and I just... <laughs> friend Deckle. Yes, Deckle your friends. In a friendly way, with their permission. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so cute. I will take it, especially because, like I said, I haven't pulled it yet. I don't think so, anyways. I always end up second-guessing myself. <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. My apologies for the interruptions, it's life. Although if I pull anything good, everyone's gonna say I'm lying. But, you know, it, it is what it is. So let's take a peek, see if we can pull any of those illustration rares. Have you guys had a hard time pulling those? I, like I have, I don't know, another reverse Venomoth. We have got a reverse Ammonite and a hollow Starmie. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I needed this one. I don't see any swirl, sad, but that's okay. We've got a hollow grass energy, and like I said, I'm pretty sure I needed this one. So yay, very exciting. Now speaking of grass energy, let's go into the grass tin where we have Scyther and Coughing, and you can see little Bulbasaur peeking out there, very cute. Let's see if we can get any good pulls like that Bulbasaur or Ivysaur illustration rare. I'd love to see it. I'm not sure if I ever finished my sentence before. Have you guys been having trouble pulling those cards? Just even like the basic illustration rares. It's like they made them very rare for this set or something. I don't know. I'm having a lot of trouble pulling any of them, but like I said, I haven't opened a ton of this set because the, you know, things, the boxes and stuff that it comes in are a little limited, but that being said, I'm still giving it a try. We've got the Oddish. We have got him a joke. And we've got a hollow Mewtwo. Oh, I'll take it. I don't remember if I needed the lightning energy or not, but it looks so good. We've got the tiniest, teeniest little, little swirl, half swirl, not even, like a quarter swirl at the bottom. <laughs> but the lightning energy, it looks so good. Yes. And like I said, I, this might have been one of the ones I needed. I don't know. The metal, the grass, I just... Eh. We'll see once I start putting things into the binder. That's what makes that kind of interesting, I guess, is that we can find out together whether or not my excitement was unfounded or not. So let's take a look. Let's see if I'm going to be celebrating like this Poliwhirl here at the end of this pack. I sure hope so. But we've also got a Poliwag. We've got a Ponyta. We've got Kadabra. An Ivysaur. We've got Slowbro. We've got a Mr. Mime that is a reverse rare. We'll take that. We finished off the evolution line. We had all three of them in this pack. And then I was hoping for a Venusaur, but we got another Blastoise. Okay, so 
code card. I hope you guys aren't being too greedy with those. You know, try and just take one or two, save some for the other people here. But we've got the normal or colorless energy, however you're gonna wanna say it, for the Meowth tin with a Hitmonchan in the background. Um, but yeah, just in general, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing all right. We've had quite the gloomy week here in Minnesota anyways. Lots of rain. We're supposed to get our first snow of the season tomorrow. Just a little bit of it, but still. Snowing before Halloween. We're going back to the good old days. I mean, we used to get snow on Halloween here anyways when I was growing up. Those were never fun. <laughs> where it was still kind of slushy and but there was the snow and so you had to wear a coat and so you were covering up your costume yeah halloween in minnesota could be a little complicated if you will <laughs> and then we've got a hollow aerodactyl and nothing behind it so <sighs> we're getting there you guys i don't know i feel like a lot of the youtubers that i've seen open up a case of these tins have had really good luck but then again i also feel like a lot of youtubers that do pokemon card openings only post the good openings so i don't know <laughs> i'm not calling them a liar i just i wonder sometimes you know if they open multiple and just wait until they film a good one and then post that one but people have been getting some good luck with these tin boxes so let's see we've got Nido queen for a reverse we've got a war turtle for a reverse and we've got a Moltres. Okay, we did get one pull. I mean, I do have this one, but I was gonna say, dang, the Meowth tin, not even one pull. But we got a hollow psychic energy, and it is a beaut. Like I said, I think that one might be bulk. I think I've pulled a couple of those already, but on to the dragon tin for the Dragonite and the Vile Plume. Oh! So it wasn't on the water tin. That's so strange that they only did different for Squirtle and put him on the dragon one. Huh. With the vial plume. Interesting! I don't know why that didn't hit me until just now, since we already did the water tin. Hmm. Curious. What was the reasoning behind that, I wonder? Huh. Not that I'll ever know. It's not like I'm gonna go over to the Pokemon Company in Japan and be like, hey, um, excuse me! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that would be... I don't ever want to be that kind of a person, personally. Um, but let's see. Let's see if we can do well here, you guys. We have got a Rapidash Reverse. Oh, we've got the War Turtle Illustration Rare. Yes! Anything behind it? No, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, Double Banger! And two that I don't have. Yes, a beautiful War Turtle. Unfortunately, we've got these grid lines that I feel like have been happening in the Pokemon cards of recent uh, for these illustration rares but overall what a beautiful I mean it's an Arita artwork of course it's gonna be beautiful oh what a good one though yes and then this Venusaur EX very nice like I said now I'm gonna have all my first front page of my binder complete that's really exciting oh yay so that is great to see feels so good, especially when I know I needed those. So let's see if we can get that Squirtle illustration rare to round that one out. Well, I would still need the Blastoise special illustration rare to really round that one out, but I don't want to, I don't want to put my hopes up too high. <laughs> so let's just shoot for the Squirtle here. Behind here. Nope. Grabber. A Voltorb. And a Flareon. Can't get mad at an evolution. I mean, I suppose some people can, but I personally won't. So, Metal Energy for the Magneton and the Atkins. Atkins. Let's see. Are you guys happy that I haven't tried doing impressions of all of the Pokemon? It would be very embarrassing. <laughs> But at least with these ones, I feel like, you know, with the newer Pokemon, I don't watch the anime, so, like, I don't know how they sound. But with all of the originals and a lot of, like, Johto, I could, I could do the impressions. Like I said, I wouldn't necessarily be good at it. <laughs> but I at least know how they sound. At least I think so. We've got a horsey. We've got a Metapod. And an Articuno for that one. Let's take a peek at this one. I mean, it's one of those things with accents. 
and just impressions in general I can hear them so clearly and beautifully and wonderfully in my head I don't know why I can't translate that through my voice box and my tongue but I just end up sounding like a mixture of a bunch of different things and it's all really not good <laughs> so hey magneton out of the magneton tin okay very nice we've got a porygon reverse we've got a charmeleon reverse oof okay <laughs> that's what happened with the other tin that didn't have any hits we just got the one okay and this one's got multiple swirlies on it we got the psychic hollow energy. Okay, well, at least we haven't had any complete strikeouts. Dear darkness energy tin, please don't take that as a sign. Oh wait, now I'm confused. Have they switched Gengar to a darkness Pokemon? Maybe, now that I'm thinking about it. Infusion strike, I guess his cards, weren't they darkness ones? I just associate him with psychic because <laughs> I grew up with him being a psychic Pokemon, you know? Since that's the, we didn't have darkness Pokemon in the original 151. So let's see. Ooh, that almost was a miscut on that Growlithe. Do you see how thin it is up top and how much extra space at the bottom? Ooh, same with that Geodude. It's probably going to be the same with a lot of these cards in this pack, at least for the commons. Interesting. And then we're back to normal here. But let's see. What can we do? A Moltres. This is at least a hollow rare or a reverse rare. Ooh, two reverse rares with that Raichu. Ooh, ooh! Oh my gosh, I was gonna say, are we going for the quadruple banger? I'm always going for the quadruple banger, but dang! Two reverse rares, very nice, very happy to add those. And then a Ninetales EX! I don't know that I even realized that this Ninetales was an EX I could get. I mean, off the top of my head, like I said, I knew I needed like the Wigglytuff, there's the Jinx, but I guess I knew that there were a few others, or at least one other, and I guess the Ninetales was one of them, so very nice! Oh, that's exciting! Well, done. Well done to this Gengar tin. Gengar and Poliwag. What a team. <laughs> I guess Poliwag could hypnosis the people and then Gengar could haunt them. Yeah, while they're being hypnotized. I guess. I guess that could be a team. But let's see. Can we get any kind of a full art or something? That would be nice out of these tins. All right, we've got a Poliwhirl. We've got a Bell Sprout. No, and we've got him a champ. Okay. <laughs> we've got a darkness energy to go with our darkness coin. And this one does have a swirl on it. So yay. I do believe I already have this hollow energy, but we will take it. And now, last but not least, back from whence we came with this fighting coin or ground coin, depending on which Pokemon it is. <laughs> Oh, we've got two packs, my friends. I don't know. I'm not feeling the luckiest after opening all of these, but I can still try. I can still try for some kind of a full art, some kind of a illustration rare, and best case scenario, a special illustration rare that I don't already have. So let's see if we can do it. Or no, the best case scenario would be a god pack especially the Charmander one, since I don't have any of those cards from that line. So let's see what we can do. I mean, if I'm gonna hope, let's hope big. Oh my God, I saw, <laughs> not that it would be a reverse hollow, but I saw the red and I got excited. So we have a Vulpix. Oh my gosh, we have something. Ooh, okay, we've got a Tauros. I think it's, ah, oh, Mew EX, very cute. I do already have this one, but what a cute, iconic card. Oh, that's another one, the Golden Mew. Yeah, I would love to pull that. Okay, my friends, last pack. Can I get last pack magic? Can I please get some kind of a full art that I don't already have, whether it's a special illustration rare or just an ultra rare, as they're called now? That would make my day. Otherwise, oof, out of 20 packs, not even one. But let's see, my friends. Let's see if we can get something beautiful with all of these beautiful original 151 Pokemon. I actually don't know that there's any other products that I haven't opened from this yet. So this might be my last one. My last pack. Okay, no god pack. We've got my memory card filled up. Bear with me. We've got a Polyrath reverse. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, listen. Code card. Fire energy with a swirl. I'm gonna take it. Alrighty, who's ready for a recap? It's okay. Could have done better. Certainly could have done worse, so I'm gonna take it. You might be wondering what these are doing up front. Um, I noticed they are actual miscut cards. If you can see, we've got the little black dot down there. That's what they use to line up the lasers and everything. So these four are actually all actual miscuts. So those will be going into my miscut binder. Very fun. I don't know, something, a little something to collect. Um, but our tins. I was able to rate them from worst to best and surprisingly we had a lot of tins that had the exact same kind of pulls so uh, like these last two definitely tied for last place because they pulled us a hollow energy and that was it and surprisingly enough it was the same hollow energy. <laughs> so. Those two tins technically did the worst for us. Uh, next up, the next two tins did the exact same kind of pulls in that they just got us an EX card. We've got the Kangaskhan EX, and then this tin gave us the Blastoise EX. So, I mean, at least we got something out of those tins. Uh, the next two, I think, both gave us... Or maybe, let's see, we got Hollow Energy, which I think I needed this one. And then another Kangaskhan EX. <laughs> which I obviously didn't need. But then I think, okay, so was this the same? Yeah, where we got a hollow energy and then an EX card. I might have needed the fire energy, but I certainly already had the Mew, but I will take another. It's very cute. And then I think the next two tins, I know, isn't this, this is very strange, <laughs> got us a reverse rare, a hollow energy, and an EX card. <laughs> The grass and the wigglytuff I needed, so I think, anyways. So I will take that. And then, like I said, we got a reverse rare out of that tin, a hollow energy, and then an EX card. How strange. Now, the last two, second place and first place, had differences to them, but I would say this one would be my second place tin. Uh, it is up top, even though we got fewer pulls than those previous couple of tins, but it was the only illustration rare that we got, and it's beautiful, and I don't have it yet. And then I also got the Venusaur EX, which I haven't pulled yet, so definitely second place for me. And then Gengar and Poliwag, apparently the dream team, gave us the best tin of all we got two reverse rares for hollows which is great love filling up that part of my binder we got a hollow energy and then we got an ex card one that i still needed so yay like said we actually got stuff certainly not going to be the best tin unboxing you ever saw especially for this set because like said a lot of the poketubers seemed to get really good luck on these tins i myself clearly did not get the best of luck but also i did all right Right. I will be feeling much better after I put these into my binder though, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how much newness I was able to add there. Alrighty, so we have got a lot of newness and some maybe newness depending on the reverses, but definitely the main set we have got a lot to add here, so very exciting. Let's go ahead and do that, starting off with Venusaur EX. So happy to be able to take this sad misspelt stick her off. <laughs> My shame is showing. Listen, we can't all be perfect spellers, that's for darn sure. And we've also got two Blastoise EX cards to add into the binder here, which means we have a nice full front page to our binder. How exciting. It's very exciting, actually. Uh, and then flipping over, also exciting, something like a Caterpie. You know, but sometimes you gotta appreciate the simple things because we still haven't pulled a wheel. <laughs> so we are going to appreciate pulling the Caterpie. Sorry, my camera's driving me nuts too. Uh, but yeah, so there is that. Uh, we're still looking for a couple of these, but we can add in the Raichu, which is very very exciting since it's one of my favorite Pokemon. Yay! So that is added in. Let's keep on keeping on. Nido King can have a friend. But like, where are these two? How have I not pulled those two yet? 
I don't know, questions. Thankfully, we finally pulled a Vulpix, <laughs> another common. There we go, we'll add you two in there. We also have the lovely Ninetales EX to add in, very nice. And a Wiggly Tuff, also very nice, EX card. Uh, Zubat, where are you at? Valplume, where are you at? I'm certainly still looking. Okay, but we pulled a Venomoth, yay. <laughs> Paris, where are you at? We are so close to having a full two pages here, yet a symbol common like Paris. Can't find it, apparently. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's keep on keeping on. Let's add him a champ friend. Let's add in a Rapidash. Boop. And a Slowbro. And let's not stop there. And add in a Magnemite as well. <laughs> Yeah. All right, what else can we add? Hopefully something. Yes, Gingler. Hey, 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 welcome. Moving on. You guys ready to complete a couple pages? Oh, Kangaskhan EX. I don't know, I thought I'd pulled this. Apparently I hadn't. So let's go ahead and add those in and complete those two pages. And then we can also go ahead and add in Seeking here. Hopefully someday we will find Goldeen. Starmie can have a friend. Ditto can join the fam. As can cutie patootie little Evie. So happy about that. Someday we'll pull my favorite of the first three. Hopefully. I shouldn't jinx myself. Let's see. Flareon can have a friend. We can add Add in Amistar and Aerodactyl. Well done. Boop. Bop. Articuno is bulk. Moltres can have a friend. Dragonite. Cutie Patootie is new, so you can go on in. Mewtwo is bulk. Mew EX. We will add you behind the other. And we're almost done with those two pages, too. Huzzah. We're still missing quite a few trains cards here but at least we can add these ones in for now and then we can also add in the gorgeous war turtle to the illustration rare page so that's nice start that off and hopefully we can get these someday <laughs> expensive buggers but all right unfortunately no more illustration rares or ultra rares wah, wah, wah. <laughs> there were so many to choose from but hey we can add to our hollow energies and actually by add to i'm pretty sure we're about to finish it off here so this is actually very exciting for me because i love these so much inigo electric Boop. Let's see, we already have two psychic energies, so these will go into bulk. Darkness, we only have one of, so at least you can have a friend in the dark. And then, ba ba da ba ba ba, -ba we have got the metal hollow energy. Yay! So happy about that. And now we can check to see if we've got any new reverses. We've got Charmeleon and War Turtle. We can also give Metapod a friend. Moving on, we can add in Raichu, Cutie Patootie, a Nidorina, Nido Queen is bulk. Let's see. Full picks. We can at least give you a friend. In you go. The adorable Oddish can slide in. We have two Venomoth that we can add in. Friendship from the beginning. And moving on. We can add in a couple of pig monkeys here. Mankey and Primeape. As well as a cute Growlithe. A couple of Machokes taking a note from Venomoth and starting off with friendship from the very beginning. Apparently I can't count, so these got put out of order, but we can also add in Poliwhirl and a couple Poliwrath also taking a note from his friends by joining in with a friend from the start. We've also got Bellsprout for this page that filled in nicely. Then we can give Victory Bell a friend. Same thing with Rapidash. Moving to the next page where we can add in Hypno and a Voltorb. And let's see. Good old Chansey. Add that cutie in. Give Tangela a friend. Add in Horsey. A couple of friends here for sure. 
star you. Mr. Mime can go in. You can also add in a couple of Doros. Oop. Give Ammonite a friend. Once again, apparently I can't count, but I got three Porygon. Wow. <laughs> I already had two. So those are all bulk. Yikes. Aerodactyl can have a friend. How dare you try and skip over Moltres to finish off this page. Boop. Feels weird not having Zapdos between them, but it's because it was an EX in this set. And then we can add in the grabber. Boop. And some protective goggles. Yay. And that'll do it. I'm so happy we added in so many good reverses. And then also look at all these sticky notes. We're filling up the binder. Woohoo! And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, I actually think this is the last 151 unboxing you're going to see from me. So from here on out, I mean, unless I can somehow like get the booster bundles and put together a booster box <laughs> of the set, this is it. So uh, I've really enjoyed collecting this set. I will definitely be buying singles of the things that I wasn't able to pull. You know, some of them, it's, it's, it's going to take a while to buy all of them, you know, but things like that. Alt Art Charizard I'm going to have to save up for over the years, but, uh, you know, hopefully eventually I'll be able to fill up my binder. As always, you guys should let me know how you are doing with your set. Are you trying to complete it? Any of that good stuff? Which are your biggest chase cards from the set? Just let me know all of the things down below. You can also subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell, all of the good things. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, stay well until then. Bye! <laughs>